Hey guys, good morning. Anvesha, for all the sessions, I have posted the links on the channel, the Telegram channel. You are there on the channel, I guess. So you can just pick from there. And I'll create a playlist also and post it there. Hi guys, good morning. So happy to see you all. Raja, Ganesh, Jennifer, Anvesha, Urja and all the others. All right, so this is Snap Marathon. This is yet another session of the series that we are doing. We have been doing this for the last one week. Uh, all those of you who have missed the earlier sessions can go to my Telegram channel, CAT 2024 VARC with Shabana, and you can uh, pick the links from there. Today, I'll be posting a playlist also with all the links of the series. So today, we are going to do 15 questions. Brace yourselves. I need to see who gets the highest score today. All right, Jennifer, are you up for the challenge? Sachin, good to see you. Anamika, of course I'm speaking and I think I'm audible. Vivek, good morning. All right, so before I take you over to the questions, the quick announcements are here. Guys, today is the second last day. Today is 27th, right? Okay. 28th, we end this tomorrow. That's 25, unlock 25. This is a good deal if you are targeting CAT 2024. Take, uh, take an 18-month subscription. You get six months free. So you, uh, you get a total of 24 months. How much do you pay for it? You pay 27,000, which works out to like 1,000 some chiller per month, right? Even if you're for 2023, you can take a three-month subscription with which you'll get one month free and you pay only 13,500 for, the, for these four, uh, four months. Yeah. All right. And my referral code is Shabana Life. So in case you're a new learner, in case you are taking a subscription, uh, making the most of this uh, offer, please use my referral code. Okay, this is Vision Cat 24. We start this tomorrow, this batch groups. I'm going to be there as part of it, uh, handling VARC. We have AIMT on 29. That is Sunday, 1230. Do not miss it, guys. Okay. There's the first question on the screen. Yes, Anamika, good morning. Good to see you too. Tikeshwar is here with his tarantula. Good morning, Pallavi. Happy, chirpy, lovely, relaxed morning to all of you. Question number one is there on the screen. It's related to grammar. Okay. So you have to read the four sentences, Jenny. Come up with your answer and please note it down. Do not give me the answers now. Once we are done with all the 15, we'll go with the answers and then discussions. Are we done with question one? Karke bata diya karo, so I can move forward. Yes, everyone. Perfect. As you can see in this question, the tricky thing is between L-O-S-E and L-O-S-E. You have to decide on that. Yes, Urja, all the best. Question two, Sachin. To flog a dead horse. That's an idiom. In this, it's very close between two options. Be very careful. Question three, a pipe dream. Again, an idiom. So there are two Sachins right now with us. Sachin Singh and one person investor. What is a pipe dream? Question four. Antimeridium. Between midnight and noon, an old mother. Between noon and midnight, hostile neighbors. 
Done? Question 5. Sunita's kya in athletics? Yielded rich what? Please be careful with the word yielded. Yielded rich something. That's a phrase. Next, question 6. In dash of international matters, there is always an element of risk in dash one might do. Looks like an easy question. Question 7. And here we are with the PJs. There are three PJs. Question 7, 8 and 9. If you don't get the transition words, connecting words in PJs, please do not waste time on such questions. So out of all the three, you have to decide which ones you want to do. Jenny, you can dump one or two questions. But please target accuracy. <clears throat> Question 8. Again, a PJ. We can see one pair here. According to that, you will be left with two options. All right, guys, we are done with this. Over to question nine. Sorry, the commission also wants insurance. So maybe you can look for a sentence before that. Okay, the rough patch is over. The three PJs are done. Now, back to vocab and grammar. This is analogy, totally based on vocab. Savage and barbaric. First, determine the relationship between those two words and then look for a similar pair. Hi, Sonia. Good to see you. Done. Question 11. Pertinacious, astute. <coughs> Hi, Devanshi. Question 12. Dilate contract. You dilate your pupils mm, like this. Question 13. Again an analogy. Serene, agitated. Question 14. The peasant refused to grovel, dash the feet of his master. So we are looking for a suitable preposition.
And over to the last question, guys. Only the bloodstained road was a witness dash his assassination. Witness ke saath kaun sa preposition? So today we did some grammar, vocab, preposition, PJs. Good. And we are done with all the 15 questions. Now I'll take you back to question 1 and give you the answers. Then you do your scores and tell me if you have done well. For question 1, it's the difference between L-O-S-E and L-O-O-S-E. -O right? The shirt is loose. My screw is loose. Mm -hmm. L-O-O-S-E. Dealer. I will lose the game if Jenny doesn't play with me. L-O-S-E. Kho dena. I will lose my pen if I keep it here and there. Kho dena. Right? So L-O-S-E is kho dena. That's a verb. L-O-O-S-E is adjective. That's dealer. Right? So the answer is one. When fishing, you can always tell when you lose a fish. L -O -S, sorry, L-O-S-E. Because the line feels dila. Answer is A. Okay. Next. To flog a dead horse. You are wasting time on something which is of no relevance anymore. So it's between A and D. D is, sorry, A is to do a thing in vain. To do a thing in vain can be something like, you know, looking for a needle in a haystack. It can be something like going on a wild goose chase. Right? That is totally to do something in vain. But here, if you talk about flog a dead horse, that horse is no longer relevant to us. So the answer is D. Vishnu ha gaya? Uh, I was thinking, na Vishnu hai na Akshat hai. Alright. So to flog a dead horse is D. Try to revive interest in a subject that is out of date or that is no longer relevant. Alright. Next one. A pipe dream. A pipe dream is something that is, you know, kind of living in my cloud kuku land. So, a pipe dream is an impractical, impracticable plan. Okay, you can even say impractical. Itna lamba impracticable karne ki zarurat nahi. Okay, so pipe, a pipe dream is something that is maybe beyond your reach. That is maybe illogical. Something that you are chasing. Okay, maybe you are chasing rainbows. Kehte na, why are you chasing rainbows? Matlab jo ki ho nahi sakta, uske piche aap bhaag rahe. So that is what it is. Option C. Question 4. Antimeridium. AM, PM likhte hai, right? AM is midnight. 12 o one se le kar ke noon. Right? So answer is A. Then option C jo hai noon and midnight that becomes PM. That is post meridium. And please remember this Jenny and all the others. There is a difference between meridian and meridium. Okay. Yaha pe ye jo time se related hai, this is D I E M, meridium. They give this also in the options as an error. All right. M E R I D I A N and anti meridium hota hai, meridian nahi hai. So here it is D I E M. Bas is cheez ko yaad rakhi. All right. Question 5. Sunita's dash in athletics. It can be performance, it can be excellence. Option D is eliminated because failure hota, to usko scholarship kyo mile? Right, Sachin? Now, the first one, the first plan leaves us confused because all three can be fit. All two. All two kyo carry Both. Performance and excellence. Right? Now you go to the second plan. So in the first plan, you can fit either performance and excellence. Second wale mein ja kar ke dekhi, Sunita's performance in athletics yielded rich money. Theek hai, maybe she got money as part of the scholarship, but you don't use this phrase 
yielded rich money no so money is out yielded rich outcome or yielded rich dividends okay now yielded ke sath outcome lagta hai okay so it's between b and c got it but the problem here is of grammar like if you say yielded rich outcome garbad ho jayega it should be yielded rich outcomes or yielded a rich outcome got it tab wo correct hota so the answer is c it yielded rich dividends dividend sirf aapke investment pe hoga aisa nahi hai something that gives you good benefit usko bhi hum kehte hain it it's going to yield me good dividends all right so the answer is c well done guys you got it question 6 in dash of international matters in spite of international no 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 in many of as a con kehta hai in many of no in many international matters we say like this hai na so it has to be option a in case of international matters there is always an element of risk in whatever we might do right the answer is a yes seven mm dump worthy question but i'll give you the answer to this it is b b for bombay so the sequence is b a d c got it how many of you got this one Mhm. Okay. Question question eight. The answer to question eight is. Ah, <coughs> huh, question eight ka answer hai D. Good if you doubt it. Very good, Ganesh. Acha. Ab ab solve kar rahe ho because you came late. Okay, Vishnu. Question eight. पीजे छोड़ दो विष्णु उसके बाद कर लेना सो क्वेश्चन एट का आंसर है डी ऑल राइट डी मीन्स इट स्टार्ट विथ सी सी बी ए डी इट इज नो लॉन्गर थॉट दैट इंटेलिजेंस इज समथिंग बी इंटेलिजेंस इज इम्प्रूव बाय लर्निंग ओके ए में सब पीपल आर बॉर्न विद ग्रेटर हाउ एवर दिस पोटेंशियल सो आई वॉज एबल टू गेट अ वेरी इजी पेयर ए एंड डी ओके ए डी ए डी के हिसाब से या तो सी या डी द आंसर इज डी द नेक्स्ट वन अच्छा चलो विष्णु आप ये कर लो ओके The answer to question nine is B, C B D A. Please see if you got it correct. Give yourself one mark. C B D A. ठीक है? All right. Question ten. Savage and barbaric. They are synonyms. The savage ruler, the barbaric beasts, the barbaric uh, humans. Mm hmm. So savage and barbaric are synonyms. accordingly we look for something so it is d venomous virulent both mean the same thing venomous is you know causing harm virulent is the same thing savage and barbaric ruthless cruel yes anamika good next one pertinacious astute <coughs> both the words are synonyms okay accordingly we have the answer a foible weakness okay did you get it guys pertinacious and astute ka meaning hota hai sharp clever wise foible weakness okay answer is a next one question 12 vishnu dilate contract you dilate your pupils <gasps> like this you contract your pupils tumne aisa kiya like this okay so dilate and contract are opposites accordingly 
wax and vein that's a wax and vein kiske liye use hota hai moon ke liye the waxing and waning of the moon causes tides yes devanshi well done question 13 serene agitated serene calm relaxed right agitated frazzled panicky so they are opposites so if we look for opposites it's option c odious pleasant there was a pleasant smell her behavior was pleasant oh that was odious right so the answer is c penultimate question the peasant refused to grovel at the feet of his master kadmo me kadmo pe girne se mana kar diya usne so you grovel at somebody's feet got it and the last one only the blood stained road was a witness to his assassination anybody is a witness to something i stand a witness to that okay so witness to answer is d done over now you guys can tell me your scores Twelve upon fifteen, not bad. Sachin eleven. Wow. Vivek eleven. Great. Eleven upon thirteen, Sachin. That's great. Vishnu, khana bana ke late aya. Phir bhi thirteen upon fifteen paya. Amazing. Ganesh nine. Great. Okay. Tikeshwar nine. Raja. Okay. Urja. Great. Awesome. That brings me to the end of this session, guys. I'm going to meet you all later. We have a session at eleven. I'll be posting the link on the channel, so please stay tuned. Pick the link from there. And this snap one is a series. I'm going to post it on the channel. You can pick all the sessions from there. All right, everyone. I'm going to see you later. Right now, this session is over. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so much.